Welcome back everyone. Welcome to Let Your Life Shine Ministry. Today topic is going to be so good. So today we are going to talk about seeking the most high. That is the topic of today. I hope everyone received this and um you know, take this as just start open up your hearts. Um today before I start off um, I normally usually don't do this, but I'm going to start off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you today, God. We ask you those today, God, that is seeking you, Father, that's doing your will, Father. I ask you, Lord, to bless them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask you those that woke up this morning that's feel depressed, Father, and that's looking for a way out. Lord, I ask you, Lord Father, to touch them, Father. And I also ask you to talk to them at night in their dreams, when they're walking, when they're catching the bus, wherever they go, Father, so they can be able to seek the most high. Thank you. So um, today is that topic, um, seeking the most high. And... Um, I like to start off with Psalms 83, verse 18, that men know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. And praise God, when I hear that, that gives me so much joy to know that our Lord is all over everything, everything 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 our jobs uh our children um the president the government everything you know that's that's so important um to know and um to be able to um knowledge that we're going to start off what we are talking about our topic is seeking him because he's over everything. And the only way that you're going to be able to acknowledge that is to seek him. Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Not and it will be open to you. So knock and it will be open to you. Seek him. Ask God for the blessings. Ask God for things that you are looking to do. You know, and a lot of times people, it's not the wrong accent about, you know, your career and things like that, but also go deeper when you talk to father, because he already knows what you want before you even ask, you know, a lot of times, um, when I go into deep prayer, you know, I ask God for things that I feel that's too difficult for me. And God says, nothing that he can't handle. It's nothing that he can't handle. So, seek the Father. This is a good one. How do we seek God first? And a lot of people, you know, they ask that. You know, how do we seek God? By remembering that our approval comes from him. We always have to put God first in everything we do. And this is what I tell a lot of people. I just got finished. Um, I was talking to my girlfriend. And, um, you know, and I told her, you know, the things that you want. You know, she talked about, you know, I want to get married. I want to do this. I want to get that. I always tell her to seek God. To seek God. Go to him and ask him. I said, if you want a husband, ask God. See, but this is this is the, the thing. And uh, me and my mother, we talk about this a lot. A lot of people want things, but they don't want to put in the work. You know, they don't want to do God's will. You know, they just want, they think God is a magician. He's not. He's not a magician. I just want to tell you guys that he's not. When you seek him and you doing his will and God see you uh, uh, trusted in him and he sees you, he even see you trying, say, you know what, because God is a loving God. He says, you know what, I see she's trying, I see she's, she, she's trying to seek me. 
God will bless you with that husband. God will bless you with that wife. He will anoint you with beautiful children. He anoint me with my daughter. He anoint me with my daughter. God is, is, is so good. So there we go. We have to start seeking him. How do we see God in his righteousness? By putting God's concern ahead of our own. And that is so important. We have to put him first. He's the head. We cannot walk over God. We cannot walk on the left or the right. We, he is the head of everything. We have to put him first. No matter what we do, we have to put if we If we um, say if, uh, I'm going to give you an example. Um, say if, uh, you know, you said, Father, you know, um, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in life, God. Like, you know, I'm sitting here. It could be you can be at a job for 10 years and just say, God, I, I'm at this place. I feel like I'm stuck, Father. What is it that you want me to do? Then there we go. We are seeking him. You are seeking him. You are asking him, what is it that you want me to do, Father? What is it that you want me to do? And and this is something... I, it, it don't come overnight, you know, um, but by you standing in the word and doing his word and, and, and honoring him, he'll see that all of these things will come easy. You'll just start seeking him now. It's becoming very easy for me. Now I just talk to God all the time. Sometimes I talk to God when I'm in the bathroom. I talk to God when I'm walking. I talk to God when I'm exercising. I mean, it, it's becoming so <laughs> rapid. It's to the point where I'm like, oh, this is good. Like I'm actually am having a conversation with the Father. And I'm actually having a... A better understanding I'm actually just seeking him instead of just doing my own thing I have done that before I have done my own thing in life and and then we wonder why well, why this didn't happen why I didn't get this job because you didn't see God and maybe that job God did not want you to do maybe he wanted you to do something else and a lot of times the things that God wants us to do and I am a witness sometimes is a lot of things that we don't we be like oh we don't want to do Oh, God, why do I have to do this? But God knows what's best for us. He's our Father. He knows what's best for us. Isaiah 55, 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Seek him. Seek him now. There's so many things going on in this world. Seek him seek him seek him seek him because this world is chaotic and it's going to get even worse and those believers those the ones that that that's going out there and they're telling people about uh yahweh they know what i'm talking about so seek him seek him with all your heart and it's for me too it's for me too. I mean, I'm not better than nobody. I'm not better than nobody. I'm not trying to come across like I'm better than this person and that person. But one thing I am practicing is seeking him. And when you seek him, you will get results. So that is the topic today. Seek the Father and do his will. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Shabbat and Shalom. Pray that you have a blessed, wonderful day. God bless you.